I'm Cheyenne Lowe from West Haven, Utah, and I am the Miss Rodeo Ogden first runner-up. I'm Tally Wilson from Linden, Utah, and I am the Miss Rodeo Ogden second attendant. And you are watching Channel, Channel 17. 17. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, it's Farrell once again with Crowd Surfing. Hey, we're down here in the middle of Washington Boulevard, big horse and hitch parade they have every year. Uh, why don't we walk around, talk to some people, and find out what it's all about? <laughs> I just, it's gonna hurt when he hits me with that rope. It's gonna hurt, right? I'm not even gonna watch because he's gonna hit me, and I know if I see it coming, I'm gonna flinch. Hey, look at that! <laughs> I had, I knew if it was gonna hit me, I'd flinch. Oh, that guy, he's, I hope he doesn't hit a rock, because that will really hurt. It's like water skiing. The, the, the horse over here has a grass skirt. Hey, there's Janae. Hi, Janae. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get run over by horses, dude. <laughs> no, this is a good spot. Hey, how are you guys? I'm all right. I'm all right. Where's, where's my friend Heather? Hey, I know her too. How did you get this gig? I'm just special like that. Are you? Yeah. And who's this? This is my daughter, Harley. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, well, obviously, I'm in your guys' way. I'm, 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 prog I'm, I'm holding up progress, so. Thanks for talking with me, Heather. Can I get your name real quick? Hadley Hunting. And can you tell me, you're pretty good at that rope. Have you, have you practiced much or just natural at it? I had a wasted childhood for the most part. Did you really? Yeah. Well, I'm not be too much of a waste. You can rope. Yeah, they told me I should go to college, and this is all I learned. <laughs> Two years at the junior college will get you the, get you the world. <laughs> or at least you can rope it if you can't get it, right? All right. All right, man. Thank you. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, hey what's up, man? What? Oh, wait a minute now. We got to go talk to this guy right here. Hey. Hey, look at this guy right here. What are you doing? Look, this is my buddy Vern. I'm not, hey, Vern, I should have nothing but nice things to say about me. Tell, tell everybody out there what a wonderful guy. Most wonderful person he ever knew. <laughs> well, hey, thanks, thanks. Appreciate the validation, Vern. We'll see you later. <laughs> So, so it'll give me kisses. I don't think those. So, what would what would possess you to put glitter on a cow and ride it? We ran, we ran out of uh, tie dye. You ran out of tie dye? Yeah, I see that. I'm trying to stay away from that. Somebody clean this up. How do people? I don't. Far out, man. You it, dude. <laughs> I had to get a haircut on the way. That by. was quick. Man, you got scalped by Tonto back there, didn't you? Yeah! <laughs> it's the Lone Ranger. Alrighty, I'm here with Rocky Hanner. And we have to interview Rocky. You're the most important person here. You're the one doing all the cooking for everybody. Why wouldn't we want to interview you? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you get roped into this to, to, to cooking hot dogs? I've been doing it for about four years or so. So we have done every year and yep. cook hot dogs. Yep. Alrighty, I'm here with Craig Story. And Craig, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on down here tonight? Tonight's the horse and hitch parade for Pioneer Days. And it's a uh, tradition that's been building and building. We had so many horses in the regular parade on the 24th that we had a separate horse parade and now it's become the biggest horse and hitch parade in the state of Utah. <laughs> I was just gonna ask you, what are you doing down here? You got you got a badge? Oh yeah, um, I'm an officer for the West Haven Junior Posse, the West Haven Warriors. You cook anything besides hot dogs? I mean, you guys do hamburgers or just strictly hot dogs? Oh. 
That's one for the dogs. You got that on the video too, didn't you? Yeah, but you know what? No one saw. Just put it back on there. <laughs> Can't do that. Just put it back on there and give it to someone you don't like. No. I already got mine, so I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, here during this thing, we just do hot dogs. Just hot dogs, then, huh? Do the same? Some of the same people still ride on the 24th parade, or is it strictly for there, just? There are some horse entries that can still go on the 24th. But there was so much demand for horses that we have to separate parade. Can you tell me a little bit about your about your group? Um, well, we're a junior posse, and we started. We actually only started about um, five years ago, so we're relatively new compared to some of the other ones who have been around for a long, long time. Like the uh, like the the Weber Sheriff's Mounted Posse, they've been around a little longer than five years, haven't they? They've been around for a long time. Even like the other ones, like Little Mountain and stuff, I think we're the newest posse. So this is quite a fancy grill. Is this yours or is yeah, this, this is something? The, the city. This is the oh, city. Oh, this belongs to Ogden City. Well, I probably had to take this grill home with me. I can probably keep it at my house. <laughs> yep. Salt Lake used to have a horse and hitch parade. And I don't think they have it anymore because we just like beat the socks off of them. <laughs> no, no, this is a really good parade. and. Some top entries come in here and put their horses in this parade. We specifically created our posse to get away from most of the horse drama that goes on. You'd be surprised. There's a lot of, like, nitpicking. In really? I can't imagine drama in anything. <laughs> well, there's drama in everything, and horse drama is a little bit worse than other drama. Because, you know, it involves 1,500-pound animals. You cook a lot of hot dogs on this, for sure. Oh, yeah. Nice girl. Nice girl. So, uh, am I, I'm, imp I'm impeding his work. I probably better leave him be. So. All right, man. Well, hey, thanks for talking with me. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Enjoy the hot dog. So, if you, if you have some horses and you want to come down next year, does anybody can enter? What do you have to do? Come in as an individual, a youth group, an adult riding group. Uh, you can bring a hitch, anything you want. Just anything, huh? So what kind of things do you guys do you ride? Obviously, you ride in parades. What, what, what other kinds of things do you do? Well, we do rodeos, like um, barrels and stuff. A couple of our, we, and um, every year we have um, cowboy queening, which is like the Utah queens and stuff, but it's for juniors. Don't worry about it. I spilled ketchup all over the front of me. You guys are, are wonderful. Golden, huh? Yes. And you filmed that. Don't put that on TV, Bill. Alrighty, I'm here with. Cheyenne Lowe and Talia Wilson. And can you guys tell me a little bit about what it is you're doing down here today? We are the Ogden Royalty for the Ogden Pioneer Days and what we're doing is promoting the sport of rodeo and Ogden Pioneer Days. A lot of the junior posses come and then a lot a lot of family groups. You'll notice there's a lot of family groups and just keeps up the tradition of of the West in a wonderful way for the people that still have horses around here. We also do, the, there's some Coca-Cola riders and they're our fastest barrel riders. And we just do all sorts of events for rodeos and stuff. It's really just to get our names out there and have fun as, you know, a group. Have fun and stay out of trouble then is what you're doing. Yeah, stay out of trouble. Of course, we always do get into trouble. It's just... No, it's good trouble though, right? Yeah. You don't have to call the police on you, do you? No, we aren't calling the popo. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, hey, I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Thanks. How, how long have you been riding horses? I've actually only been riding seriously for a couple years, but I know Cheyenne's been riding a lot longer. <laughs> I've been riding since I could barely even walk. I live on a farm out in West Haven, so I've been doing it for a while. It seems like there's a lot more events with horses. Is there more now than there was? Are they dying out? How is it? I don't think there's more than there was, but we're trying our best to keep that alive, okay? And, you know, there's a tendency to for people to have the recreation with four-wheelers and other types of recreational vehicles and for the people that still hang in there with their horses there's just nothing better Ow, a lot of work there's a lot of work for sure they say the best thing for the outside of a man is inside on a horse is the inside of a horse when you're riding a horse so you never know huh? all righty well hey i appreciate your time uh, you're eating so i'll let you finish eating but thanks for talking with me thank you all righty i'm here with I'm Celeste Francis, and I miss Dinosaur Roundup. I'm not wearing my crown right now because I didn't get signed up for the uh, parade fast enough, so I'm just rode with my posse, and this is my posse queen's crown. What's your most favorite part about riding horses? Because I know, I know people have horses, and they, they love it, and I just think it's a lot of work. 
You know, it is a lot of work, but that work finally pays off. And I love being here at the rodeo, supporting and doing what I love, and being able to show everyone how great of a sport this really is. Artie, I am here with? With uh, District 7. Oh, so what do you guys... It was, it was a combination of a lot of riding clubs together that compete together. And we just were together uh, in the parade. We put all the clubs together in one group. One big group and then that way. We did it like we did a Hawaiian. Our theme was Hawaiian. You, Miss Miss Dino, is that what it is? Yes, it's a rodeo up in Vernal. Oh, I was going to ask you. It's got to be hard to find dinosaurs to ride this time of year, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There's plenty up there. There was a big dinosaur with a cowboy hat on and some rope in his really? hand. I got a picture with him, and I'm acting like a dinosaur. It's pretty funny. What's your favorite thing about, about riding horses? Uh, well, I just... I'd probably have to just say the, their personalities. I love getting to know each horse, and just being on a horse is one of the most relaxing things you can do. I have a, I have a very important question for you. Where, where, where's my friend Heather at? I saw her earlier and tried to get an interview with her, and she ran off. I haven't any idea. <laughs> oh, <she>? man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, in fact, I don't know where anybody is. I'm here alone. <laughs> you got left all by yourself. That's, that's how we tracked you down. We kind of cornered you and forced you to do this. How much work is it to do something like that? I mean, what 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 goes into that that title? There's a lot that goes into it. It's a it's just like any other professional sport. It's a sport in the PRCA, which is the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. And basically the way I explain it to people is it's like a pageant, only it's rodeo. So western attire and instead of a talent you do a uh, a horsemanship pattern on your horse. So I have a question for you. It's probably going to make everybody mad, but are horses really that smart? Because they seem like they're dumb to me. They seem like they're just they're just idiots. They're knuckleheads. Horses are actually extremely smart. They are one of the smartest animals, and sometimes they're a little bit smarter than their owners. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Uh, we had people on skateboards, and I saw that. That was kind of cool. Maybe next year you can ride the skateboard. So that's, that's what I was kind of thinking. I practice. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, hey, thank you for talking with me. Thanks. You do a speech, you model, you do impromptu and get interviewed by the judges. You also take a written test because they want the queen to know the rules of the rodeo and not to know what she's doing. Oh, that would make sense because you don't want to ask him, you know, how, how long do you have to stay on a bull? And you're like, uh, better part of four seconds. Yeah, and um, at the rodeo, they actually have us helping behind the scenes and they don't want a queen going, What's going on? Maybe it's just that a 1,500-pound animal terrifies me. Maybe that's what it is. Yes, for sure. I mean, they can be a little terrifying, but you just got to cowboy up a little bit. Oh, I can't <laughs> do that. I'm too old. All right, you guys. Well, hey, I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm here with... Gina Black. And Tracy Smith. And can you guys... I've seen there's just a few people with red shirts on. How did you guys get red shirts? We're on the Ogden Pioneer Days Committee. So you guys are kind of kind of the, the, the law around here, then, is what you're telling me. We are. We are. This is the law. After the calf roping and the steer wrestling, we chase the cows back into the chute. And after the calf roping, they have to wait for the calf to be tied for six seconds. And if the queen doesn't know that rule, they could go up and scare the calf and mess up the cowboy and make people mad. Very good. Makes sense. Yeah, I think I could probably use a little bit of uh, rodeo knowledge because all I know about rodeo is what I saw on that show, Eight Seconds. That's all I know. Uh, <laughs> well, what do you want to know? Oh, yeah, see, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know enough to ask. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, Celeste, I really appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Brenda Nelson, Ashlyn Nelson, Andrea Nelson. And this person has no desire to be on TV, so we'll, we won't talk to her. So. How did you get, she's really excited to be interviewed. You're like way excited and these other people around you aren't. I don't know, I really like to be on camera. I'd really just. Do you? Yeah. I'm the one that organized this. I'm the director of the Horse and Hitch Parade. Oh really, so you're, you're actually pretty busy then. Right now, I'm real busy. <laughs> so, how much time do, do you invest in something like this? I mean, is it something you do all year long? Is it just something that starts like at the first of July or how does it work? We do it all year long. We go out, we recruit hitches and teams and people to come down here, and we do it all. It takes all year. Already? Oh, you almost got on there. Yeah, that's the Oh, see? And your kid. Oh, man. <laughs> now you're on already, see? All righty. I'm here with... Danielle. And Ryan. And... This is Presley. Presley. So, where's your dad at? I talked to him a minute ago, and... He's headed home with the team. Uh, you making him do all the work? Yeah. Good man, that's a good idea. Yeah. 
Well, you know, you might have a job then because Bill's going to fire me and maybe you can uh, take over. I'd love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Well, uh, you know, I'm getting old and... Well, I'm still young, so I still... <laughs> so how much trouble are you going to be in with these two for forcing them to be on TV? I don't know. I just have to buy until... What, what are you going to do? Um... You'll have to wait to see. <laughs> you don't want to say what it is? You don't want any evidence? Is that? Yeah, we better not have evidence. <laughs> All you guys. Well, hey, I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys love the headache that much. You have to have it all year long. Yeah. We do. I'm in charge of the VIP cabin, which hosts all our sponsors and VIP every night, as well as the cowboy hospitality tent. And that's where we let the cowboys and their families come and have a have a snack or a meal before they perform. Relax a little bit or something? Yeah. We get, have haircuts over there and massages. And they give haircuts to the cowboys. We do. What? We do. He didn't, he didn't seem like he was too interested in being on TV with me. Yeah. He's not quite a TV guy. I think I think he'd be great on TV. I, honestly, I think he would be too. He'd be like the grumpy, honorary old man. He'd be like the cowboy Archie Bunker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he might work out. Alrighty, I'm here with JD Casperson. And JD, can you tell me a little bit about what is you doing down here today? Um, we just finished up the parade today. I um, ride with the sheriff's mounted posse, and we were number one in the parade. And we came to eat some hot dogs. Next thing you know, you guys have a tattoo parlor in there or something. Oh, no, no tattoos. <laughs> but on Saturday, on Sunday, and during Slack, we are going to feed them breakfast. Oh, really? Well, that's quite a deal then. So how how does this rodeo compare into other rodeos? Because I've heard people say, you know, it's the, it's the best the best view in all of rodeo. It, it's the best outdoor arena in the whole world. Better than anywhere else. Better than anywhere else. So what are you guys doing? We're, we're, we're filming and we're talking to people. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this, this rodeo stuff's all about. I have less than a clue of how it works. So, <laughs> so starting with the parade. Yeah, I went to the parade. Get in with the party. So our dumb question, I know, but I'm going to ask anyway. To be in this sheriff's mounted posse, do you have to be the, a sheriff or a deputy, I would assume? No, we... Uh, we ride for Weber for the sheriff, but we do a lot of uh, public relations with those guys, um, and we just we do a lot of service for the community and for rodeos and high school. Ogden has been nominated oh, many times the last several years for medium out medium rodeo of the year. So, yeah, so it's a pretty big deal. It ain't no just fly by night deal. No. And it's got to be a lot nicer being outside than like Salt Lake. They do something in the, in the, in the um, Delta Center or something. Yeah, who wants to be inside for a rodeo? We want to be outdoors. Outside. We want to be outside. Yeah. And then we're going to go to the parade uh, on the 24th. Are you guys going to be in that too? We're not. Oh, I'm going to see if your dad will give me a ride in his wagon. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah. Come on over. Alrighty, well, I'll probably bring my kids over then. And then you guys will be like, Farrell, get out of here. We're tired of you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan for us. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for talking with me. Have a good one. I would just like to ride a big horse through a crowd of people to see how many people would get out of my way. People don't move as well as you would think, so. Really? A big old giant animal like that, they just stand there? Some people are oblivious. Is it because they're dumb or because they're oblivious? I better not say. <laughs> it's a little of both, huh? Yeah, I said it. You don't have to. All right. All right, Emmanuel, hey, I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, that's when I was a kid, that was, it, it was fair time. It was the only time they had a rodeo where I grew up, you know? And then you'd hear, you'd see on TV or you'd, you'd hear on the radio that they're doing a rodeo inside. And I thought, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> no, rodeos belong in this arena. Nothing's prettier than a rodeo here. All right, you guys, well, you're awfully busy, so I'll let you go. But thank you for talking with me. I appreciate it. Thank Come you. to Hog Thunder Day's Rodeo. Alrighty, folks, that's going to do it for me. Hey, uh, if you get a chance, come down and check out the Horse and Hitch Parade. It's pretty interesting, a whole lot of people, and uh, a big party afterwards, so come check it out.